Hi, my name's Jess. I'm from Brisbane and this is my 1993 Chop Surf. Alright, how's it going Jess? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Now, I did think this was a Hilux, and it obviously isn't. It's a surf. Yep. It's a surf that I chopped. Well, I why like did you surf. go for the chop? <laughs> so I hate the look of like the back of surfs. No offense to anyone that has a surf. But I don't know, the back just annoys me. So I was like, I'm going to just chop it. And I saved up for it, and I was like, whatever, I'm just going to do it. And so yeah, this is the state of it now. Not bad. I definitely like it more than the old look, you know, like I like you. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like the back end of the surfs either. They got that no. funny window right yeah, at the yeah. back. Yeah, it's like on an angle too. It's like a weird, it's kind of weird. I just didn't like it. Yeah. So I'm going to get rid of it. The other thing I noticed too is you swapped out the grill by the looks of it because the yep. surfs don't look like this normally. No, so they have like a different light, like it's a completely different shape. So we got the, well these are JTX lights, um, they're aftermarket, but this grill is just off a 1999 LN167 that we got from the Wreckers. And so with the old lights, we had like other lights. But yeah, so I swapped that, swapped the grill. It doesn't fit exactly, but like, it looks so much better than the other one, so. And then awesome. the bull bar, that's just an X-Rock, and then yeah. this is all just welded on, isn't it? Yeah. So I can see like... from the bird shit around there, <laughs> yeah. holding it all together. Yeah, we welded it. This was like the first time we welded anything. So oh, it's a bit looks bad. Right. And then yeah, we just got a pipe bender from like Super Cheap. That's it's pretty bad. Like the pipe bender from Super Cheap wouldn't recommend, but yeah, you know. it's got some bad kinks in it. You yeah. might have been better with welding bends. Maybe, <laughs> probably, and then just like grind it down. But yeah, so we welded that to make it look a bit more like angry, I guess. That's just UHF. Yep. Well, what's this one? So I have a whip, oh. but I'm selling it. I'm giving oh. it to someone for free. But yeah, that's for my whip, but I don't use it. Bloody whip lights. We may as well pop the bonnet, see what's in here. Alrighty. I can't reach too tall. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're in the engine bay. There's uh, obviously being a surf and same as a Hilux, there's nothing too exciting in here. No, it's <laughs> really not. What are we looking at? So this is a 2LTE, it's a tiny little 2.4 litre. So 2.8 like is never late, or always late in the 2.8, and then 2.4 must be you just don't get there. <laughs> yeah, basically. But it's actually like, it flogs Jesse's car. He's got a, no, it doesn't really, but it's faster than the 2. Point, no, 3 litre. He's got a 3 litre. Yeah, they're worse, I reckon. The yeah. 3 the three litres seem to be more gutless. Yeah, so. I see I, you've I got a boost T. Yeah. How much has that turned up? Is that all the way? I don't know. We actually, so when we first got this car, we didn't know what it was, so we just cranked it right oh. up. <laughs> and it's pissing out oil. And I, like, we, I don't even think we put There's, it uh, down. not supposed to be oil coming out of the turbo, I'll give you that much. <laughs> yeah, I was going to go get a catch can, but... That that won't help that situation. The, the turbo's leaking... Oil. Yeah, it's leaking oil. It's also coming out of the bottom there. Yeah. So you don't know how much boost it's running? No. Nah. I don't know. I don't have any gauges either, so that doesn't. So you help. just you just going off feel. Yeah, I just. So when the motor blows out the bottom and you meet all four Rodneys, I'll be like, oh, it must have been me cranking up the T. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, other than that, everything's pretty basic in here. All I've really added is like diff breathers. Yep. And my mod plate for the chop. But so it is it. engineered for the chop. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, sweet. It is. So yeah. Uh, is this the only battery? Yeah, it, I think it comes stock with like dual battery because this is here and this. But you probably could put a second battery there. Yeah. Is that why all of the million wires are running to the main battery? Yeah, because I don't have another one to run off. So you can't well, divide, it, divide all of that mess. To I two. probably could, so then it doesn't look as cluttered in one area. <laughs> but yeah, now maybe I will get another battery. There's a bit of oil on the bonnet, so that means it's running still. Is there? <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty dirty actually, I probably should have cleaned it. <laughs> the other thing we didn't talk about is yeah, the indicators, they don't seem to match. Yeah, these actually are fog lights, like stock on a surf, they're fog yeah. lights. So I just have these, 
but one of the screws fell out, so that it's just zip tied on. So you got the racing tape on there, basically the racing zip. Yeah, but they're cool indicators, like they go, pew, pew, you know, they go across. Yeah. Gives it a bit of personality. No. They almost need to be like cut into the bonnet. Uh, know, not in the bottom, into the bull bar. Yeah, that's what I said. But Jesse was like, what if you don't want them? And I'm like, <laughs> then I'll just have a massive hole in my bull bar. Or you can go to Hilux indicators. Yeah, I could do that. But then my, I feel like my bar's in the way, so you can't really see them. Yeah. yeah. Sort of running into a lot of modification issues here. Yeah. They're so not I'm all like, talking to each other very well. Yeah, I was like, well, oh, that'll have to do. And then what are these spotlights? eBay special? They are, I think they're XTM, like BCF ones. Oh yeah. They were just like... They'll be better like than Kings bucks. anyway. <laughs> yeah, I did have them pink, but I spread it black. And they used to have covers, actually. They used to have like clear covers. And they, they fell off? No, I tried to tint them and they just oh, didn't yeah. work. Mine, so mine ran away on the Adventure Kings <laughs> ones. They seem to just disappear when you bolt them up. Oh my god. Or somebody at the car park must be just pulling them off to put on Probably. theirs. On their roof, just like 10 spotties. Alright, moving on. There's not much to look at on the side, obviously. Not really. What sort of lift we're looking at? So the front is just two inch suspension, 1.5 inch ball joints, and then two inch body lift. Are they just like a spacer or something? Yeah, it just goes under your ball joints. Yeah. Um, Have you had issues with ball joints? Being so really. high? Not really. No? It's been alright. Actually, first it like made the camber a bit bad, but then I put in a diff drop kit because it has a diff drop in the front. And, and that, that would Brought yeah. the CV angle straight and everything. Yeah, and it was good, like no more. Good now. Guessing these are 31s because they're small they are. Yeah, they're little babies. They would almost matches. go 35s on them. <laughs> I feel like I would have to chop so much. The last owner like did this. I don't even. What is that? Like I don't know what the purpose was, but. Well, that was just getting ready for 35s. Mm, I mean, maybe, but I'll probably go 33s or next. Or 40s if you go underneath. <laughs> Well, I could do. No, I'm not doing that. It's gonna like Monster ruin truck. my bearings and everything. But yeah, I'm thinking of going 33s next. Um, yeah, I just wanted a bit bigger. Yep. Because like it looks like it has skipped leg day because of how small they are. It does in the front, but the back's a bit lower. Yeah, I guess. Or a bit higher. It yeah. it's changed after you've moved it. It's changed a lot. Your suspension is pretty yeah, no. soft by the looks of it. Yeah, kind of like. With the canopies on, like when I go over bumps, it's pretty rough right now. Like the back is so stiff, but normally I have like canopies on the back, like two toolboxes. So it kind of like softens it out a bit. Evens it out. Yeah. And it kind of stops nose diving as much, like the front of it. Yeah, yeah. So these, like are, the these aren't a yeah. torsion bar on the front. They're just, are they just standard IFS? They have torsion bars. Yeah. So torsion yeah. bar front and then yeah. and coil then rear. Coiled rear. That's the yes. guy. So... Yeah, but I did add in um, those thingies, <laughs> these guys. Oh, free those free looking hubs? hubs, yeah. Because it has auto hubs or something like that. Like where you just click the button. Because of the thing. surf systems yeah, or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But my CVs kept on ripping, like every week it would rip. So I'd have to put a new like CV boot on and blah, blah, blah. But I was like, just from just... driving it on the road or forward yeah, driving? Just driving on the road. Yeah. Because that's... they would constantly spin. So I was like, I'm just going to put those in and then they won't spin when I drive on the road. Yep. So yeah, so they're pretty good now. And then, that's a factory snorkel, is it? I don't know, it came with the car listed. I'm thinking of getting a stainless, but I just like don't have time to drop my car in yeah, to yeah. get it done, because I need a custom one because of like how far it goes, and like the guard, I don't want to buy a new guard because I have to spray the whole thing again. But are you going to get a chrome one I'd or a black get one? i black, to be honest. Yeah, because then black will match your mirrors. Yeah. And those mirrors are clear view or? These are from Vic Off-Road. Ah, cheapies. Yeah. So they're pretty, they're pretty good actually. And they like do the whole sliding out. And you can connect like the mirrors to your mirror button and it like moves electronically. Oh, so they're fully electric. Yeah, yeah. But, but they're not. I haven't done that yet. Yeah. But they're actually, so these are for GUs. This mirror, like they're to suit GUs. So it doesn't, it's not an exact fit. Well, it looks close enough to me. And do they rattle yeah. at all, being a cheaper brand? They don't rattle, but the mirror vibrates. Ah, uh, so if I minor need to, like, issue. Like when I'm driving, it doesn't vibrate, but when I'm sitting at the lights or something, it vibrates. So I just gotta. Like, that could also it. be the engine. Yeah. So, where did this tray come from? So we picked up the frame of the tray. It was like on marketplace or something, and we're like, we'll just get that because it would be cheaper to just buy this frame than buying 
each individual piece of steel. Yep. So we just got that and then we pretty much got aluminium. So this top is aluminium and the rest of it is steel because we thought it would be really heavy if it was all steel but I actually kind of need the weight because of the... For the, the spring rate? Yeah, yeah. Um, is, that, is that standard 2 inch or yeah. is that like heavy duty one? Yeah, the springs are just 2 inch. I don't know what the shocks are. I can't remember. It's like something. Who did the chop? Or is that home job? So, did the chop, but uh, he blocked me actually. After, after they did it? Yeah, because there was a couple issues. I don't know if I should mention it. Yeah, <laughs> well, he just didn't weld. So, on the inside, there's like, um, you know, the bracing to like support Yeah, yeah, everything. sort of, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I just use a bit of sheet metal. Yeah, and then... yeah, and then it's like braced on the inside. So, the inside's like got two welds pretty much. So, it's like, doesn't do f all. Like... Does it rattle? No, it doesn't rattle. It's just like not welded so it's like if i got into a crash everything would probably just fold you know like yeah. it's not so it'll have no no structural yeah, integrity yeah, to yeah, it yeah yeah that's it <laughs> and then obviously max's razor all around except for yeah. a random spare this is a 33 <laughs> this is a big horn max so big horn. when you get a flat tie you're not getting bogged well yeah i guess <laughs> i mean that would be pretty good but like it'd be like on the pits a bit but that's, that's right. fine don't need to worry about that <laughs> So, but yeah, this is also for the weight. I feel like I just to weigh the back end yeah, down a bit. Without it, it's just like absolutely like ridiculous. But All right. Yeah. We'll go to the interior. Okay, so here we are in the very small surf interior. Yeah, it is actually quite small. Um, all I've really got is this is cool. This is my center console. Yep. But when I plug it in, when I turn it on. It is a fridge as well. Is that just a brass monkey? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. And then like it charges your phone. Yeah, and then it's just got a couple of red balls in there. And it yep. goes down to negative 15 degrees. Well, actually, it normally goes down to 20, but mine only goes down to 15. So, so when you go on a camping trip, is that the main fridge? No, we do take like a actual fridge. But this is good for like snacks. Like on your way down, you can yep. chuck in drinks and like snacks or whatever and it actually it does pretty well like it freezes your drinks yeah but yeah um so i've got this also and that's just my reverse camera not that i really need one but it's also like the camera when i have the toolboxes on the back the wheel sits up like at the back so you can't see through the back so um this is just constantly on and where is that camera mounted is that on the roof it's on the tray on the tray yeah it's like just near the the light bar there's a little light bar yeah and you can record oh, yeah. stuff and you can move it it's kind of cool and then i also have this little guy that's just my apple carplay thing so it's pretty for good. a big doubled in sony stereo yeah it's pretty flashy here yeah it's not bad eh? is there any cup holders yeah here but it's broken <laughs> that's why there's zip ties <laughs> but there's uh too many yeah. zip ties in this car i know there actually is there's a lot of zip ties but yeah, and then oh, like and the you've got electric windows. Not many yeah. Allen 106s have got electric windows. Yeah. And then, like where are these from? So, I made these. They are custom. <laughs> I just bought the um, paracord of eBay and then I just learnt how to do them. They're a bit small though. Like, it kind of hurts when you get in the car because you hit your hand on them. I think they're all a bit like that. Yeah. They might, I think the ones that you buy, like the proper ones, they put something inside them to make them more rigid. Mm, yeah, maybe. Like a, I, do, yeah. I don't know what they'd use. I don't know. I don't have any of those. Yeah, but, yeah, that's that. The little air freshener, 404 on this club. Yeah. How many kilometres on the clock? 214,000. So it's, it's barely run in. Yeah. Well, we or reckon... Or is it down a million? Yeah, we reckon the previous owners might have, like, dialed it down, but... I don't know. It's pretty good. Besides all the leaks, like it's all right. Doing Play the game, but yeah. Otherwise, it's pretty good. Alrighty. Locked in. Look oh, yeah, out. Door's broken. Look out. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Right. You gotta open it and then unlock it. Like the handle. Back up on that.
Like, but <laughs> 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 